I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, share. Guys, I guess we should have known by the tagline from this candy all these years. I mean, after all, they did tell us to taste the rainbow after all. But then again, at what point do we say, by God, we want the rainbow back? We're taking the rainbow back. Uh, yeah. I, I, the LGBTQ, of course, hijacked the colors in the rainbow a long time ago. I guess a long time ago. How long have we been putting up with this bullshit? What has that been a thing for like eight years now? I don't know. When the hell did Pride Month start? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, also, I don't care. Uh, I'm just pointing that out. I don't give a rat's ass when Pride Month started. So, enter in Skittles, who obviously did not learn a hell of a lot from Bud Light. It's amazing to me how many of these businesses, even after the Bud Light fallout, even after the fact that Bud Light is trying to stay in business at this point, they're trying to stay afloat. Okay, they've lost that much market share. Oh, uh, well, Skittles said, hold my Bud Light here. Uh, because they have decided to make a move with packaging. And guys, they have taken this to a brand new level because, my goodness, they combined the Britney Griner trifecta. That's right. B Black trans lives matter into their marketing campaign. That's right. They've released a Black Trans Lives Matter packaging ad campaign. Oh, taste the rainbow. This is this is wild, folks. And yes, we'll look at the packaging. It's going to be on the thumbnail, but this is this is crazy. And I'm going to be the first to tell you, hell, I like Skittles. I do. I, I was I'm a Skittles fan. It's one of my go-tos. When I go to the movie theater to watch a movie, I absolutely will buy a bag of Skittles. I probably consume Skittles maybe five, six times a year. I'll buy a bag of Skittles. Now I've got to give up Skittles. God dang it. At least with Bud Light, their beer sucked. But I liked Michelob Ultra, so I had to give that up because it's owned by uh, Transheiser Bush. So let's see what the Ku Klux Trans has got in, in store for us today. This is Outkick. Unbelievably... Skittles, the delicious candy that will break your jaw while telling you to taste the rainbow, has somehow outdone Bud Light. The legendary candy has remarkably given the okay to the most ridiculous packaging of all time. They talk about how this is not hyperbole. I mean, at this point, does anything surprise us? Huh, Citizens Free Press, this is what they posted right here. There you go, folks. There is your new packaging. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the cultural advances we've made. Look, oh, look at that. Over there riding the rainbow with the blue hair, green hair. Uh, once again, they've decided every black person is part of the LGBTQ plus community. Something that drives uh, Mr. Matrix absolutely insane. There we go. Joy is resistance. Uh, they've made the packaging black and white. There is black trans lives matter. Right there. Let's see if we can get that up close, shall we? Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Because I know exactly nobody that looks like this person right here. That is, a, is this supposed to be a trans? Are all the people on here supposed to be a trans? Why have you drug aliens into your packaging? Exactly. I mean, I think at this point, this kind of crap is actually insulting to aliens. Yeah, somebody said, could they just put Charles Barkley on there? Put Charles Barkley and Garth Brooks on there right now. How about that? Let's do that. Unbelievable. Well, in case you're wondering when this will be available, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, GLAD, they teamed up with GLAD. The candy company rolled out a brand new package promo this week that will virtue, virtue signal your head off. Oh, yes, it's something that any tambourine-playing Barry Manilow fan will be thrilled to death over. Absolutely. 
Just when you thought Bud Light would peak, Skittles checks in and tells everybody to hold their Bud Light. Dylan Mulvaney somewhere believes this is brave, stunning, and courageous as he attempts to uh, put blackface on so he can join the black trans community. The website skittles.com forward slash pride is filled with pronouns podcast and promises to rewrite the script for LGBTQ plus acceptance. True story. Watch how fast I quit eating Skittles. Skittles is a wrap. I'll officially go to something else. Let me guess. We're going we're gonna to transition. You see what I did there? Transition over to Starburst next. Is that what we're going to do? We're going to... Me, I'm considering... Um, Oh, yeah, this is a good point out, too, right here. This this covers all, the entire gamut. Skittles is trying to turn your kids into the BLM and LGBTQ plus activists. Their packaging also features a drag queen. Which one's the drag queen, though? Do we know? Is it this one right here, or is it this one? I'm not sure which one is, quote-unquote, the official drag. I mean, look, at this point... The entire thing is just insane. Really? I, I mean, you're, yeah, you're a candy company for crying out loud. Brilliant marketing at Skittles, assuming you like how it's going for Bud Light. I, I, really? Really? Leave our children alone, groomers. Seems like American people have just about had enough with woke nonsense injected in every... Day life. First it was Bud Light, then it was Target. Target's getting this shit sued out of them. By the way, I got a video coming. Another company is also getting the proverbial uh, lawsuit papers. I've got that heading this way. Uh, of course, Target, Bud Light have lost billions of dollars in value at this point. Who owns Skittles? I guess I don't know exactly who owns Skittles. For sure, let me let me look that up right quick. How about we find out? Skittles owned by... Oh, my goodness. Skittles is owned by Mars Incorporated and marketed by the Wrigley Company, a division of Mars. My goodness. I, I can only imagine uh, Mars Candies list. Somebody else has looked this up. Oh, my God. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, guys. So, uh, uh, essentially, you can just quit eating every piece of candy that there is because they own them all, it looks like. Milky Way, Snickers, Twix, Milky Way. Uh, oh, Milky Way Midnight. Huh. Uh, Milky Way, Twix, Three Musketeers, uh, M&M's. What else do they own here? Skittles. Yep, there's Starburst. So there goes Starburst, too. So that's just to let y'all know so you know where to stand with said boycott. Yeah. Everything you see there on your picture, owned by Mars, who now has officially dropped the Black Trans Lives Matter. Skittles, I'm sure. Brittany Griner, probably... Uh, broken ankle in her high tops trying to get to a store to get this limited edition virtue signal. I, I, I don't get it, folks. I mean, I don't get that these companies will not, they simply will not stay out of the political game and the political ideology. And you notice how it's things like candies and it's a lot of things. I mean, that. The Pride Collection at Target had all these kids' clothing. Man, there's an element here that has to do with children that is so creepy. It's so sinister, and it's just so damn sick and gross. I mean, truly. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. Skittles, you can mark it off the list. Unless you want to taste that rainbow. Ew, gross. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.